Hello folks, here we are. This is uh, the XL Scout 400, XL Marine's brand new boat. And uh, in fact, I went out yesterday on it and I've got to say, it performed fantastically. Now, this boat is not perfect and uh, I'll certainly point out a few of the imperfections. And uh, just like we did for the Carbon Pro video, we'll take a walk around. I'll point out some of the features and I'll give you an update in terms of uh, what could potentially be done to, to address those. So uh, yeah, let's start up the front. So just like the Carbon Pro, uh, XL have now added a, a bow roller up at the front here. This, uh, this takes a lot of the pain out when you're hauling up your anchor. One of the problems with this boat in its current form is that, as you'll see here, if you were sat on the seat hauling the anchor, there's, uh, there's nothing here to protect the tube from the rope rubbing. Uh, it is doubled up material here, so it's, it's not going to do any immediate damage. And there is an XL logo to add a little bit of protection, but um, this needs to be addressed. Uh, I did speak to XL, they said that the next iteration of the boat is going to include uh, some rubber here. Uh, they'll probably remove the logo so that they can install that, just like the Carbon Pro. While we're looking at um, the downsides, there's a slight quality control issue here. That You'll see that this patch for the oar has, uh, has not been glued uh, either at all or properly. The fitting itself is on there and it is solid. It's just the reinforcement patch here that's, uh, that's been missed. So I'll need to tidy that up myself. While we're looking at the inside, you'll notice that they've got some grab handles here. There's one positioned, well, central, and there's one underneath here. Now, as you can see by the seating position, that's pretty much useless. And in terms of this one here, again, for the front passenger, also useless. Now, I got out on this boat yesterday and uh, and actually I, I, I had nothing to, to hold on to at all, aside from the bow rope. Like I said, there are some solutions. I'll touch on those uh, a little bit later. Transom, fantastic, solid, tidy job. This version, has the handles at the rear. My Carbon Pro 365 does not have these handles here and that makes pulling it off the trailer quite difficult in truth. You've got to grab the transom and really lean back but thankfully this version of the XL Scout does come with these handles and, and honestly they're so versatile not not just for pulling it off the trailer but if you need to adjust your transom wheels you can lift up one side uh, via the sponsors here and uh, for the carbon pro it's a, it's a bloody nightmare in truth I, I need to get someone to help me um or wrap my whole arm around the the tube to lift it up so i did feed that back to boat world and i, th I think they're going to address it but um we'll have to see what their mark three brings now you probably notice these tubes are very plain and everything i'll discuss in, in this part of the video and while i'm on the water which i recorded yesterday I already fed back to Excel in advance. With this being uh, the Mark One, the brand new boat, they did ask for uh, initial feedback directly to them so they can have a, a read through it and, and perhaps add some comments, which I think is fair enough. Uh, when I did the review on the Carbon Pro, that was the Mark Two. It was an established boat. They'd already made some revisions based on feedback, and uh, they didn't ask for the upfront, um, the upfront information. So Excel did. They say they're still working on the design, which I think is fair enough. They've commented that they built this with plain tubes based on earlier research and feedback. Their Volante and their Vanguard models, they have grab ropes the whole way around. And uh, and that's fine. It, they're, they're fantastic for uh, for passengers to hold on to and if you were to fall out of the boat. Um, but with this model, they've decided just to strip them, strip them completely. I'll talk more about uh, options later. Something else that's missing, not just the grab ropes, but the road locks. Now, as you'll see in the video, it's basically impossible to paddle this if you're solo. Now, I was leaning, I was kneeling on the tube in order to get my paddle as vertical as possible to try and maintain track, but it just simply doesn't work. The boat, after two paddles, the boat turns one way. So you go to the opposite side, two more paddles, and the boat turns the opposite way. With two people on the boat, you could have one person either side kneeling on the tubes to paddle. But again, I just don't think that's uh, an appropriate solution at least for my use case, um, you could argue that 
if you're having two passengers kneeling over the edge of the boat to get a, a vertical paddle, you know, what, what happens if they were to fall in, you know, so. Uh, the deck, again, is standard. It's the same as any other of their offerings. Um, the, the benches, again, they're the same. Underneath, if you watch my Carbon Pro video, the screws do come loose underneath, so take them out, glue them back in again. Uh, yeah, and here's the here's the handle of the the oar that you get. As you can see, it's a it's a kind of like a raft style slash paddleboard style oar. Uh, again, not not fantastic to be honest with you, but there are solutions. There are solutions which I'll touch on. But overall, I mean the the actual finish of the boat is pretty tidy. There's um, there's a few areas that could just be a, a little bit tidier, and when I reported this initial uh, problem with the patch down here, uh, Excel got onto the factory apparently that weekend and uh, and discussed the the quality control with them. Staying staying on top of quality control is, is going to be really important. More important than that, I think, is how Excel handle uh, any customer services uh, of any reports of. Um, quality control issues so but yeah like I said it's uh, it's a tidy boat I've got to say I'm really happy with it and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll soon move on to some footage of it actually on the water like I said before it's, uh, it's a it's a good boat it's very plain Jane at the moment um, but that leaves it for customization if you want to out of the box for me, it needs Rolox, absolute minimum, and something to grab hold of. Uh, again, these are problems that could be solved. From my perspective, the number one most important thing for me was how this boat and how this hull performs on the water. Uh, and everything there, for me personally, I'm happy to, to modify as I need to. Um, but there are options, and we'll, we'll talk about that. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, get, on the, let's get on to the video.
Hey folks, we are back on the water. We have a weather window and I have taken the opportunity to get out today. And uh, if you've been following those Facebook pages, you'll know that uh, today I'm testing a new boat. This is the brand new offering from Excel Marine. This is the Scout 400. It's a four meter aluminum deck, inflatable keel, uh, very similar to uh, the likes of the Boat World Carbon Pro series and uh, and this is I think one of the first water tests outside of Excel at least. Well all I can say is there's no such thing as a perfect boat and we know that however as you've just seen it handles fantastically and even with my 15 horsepower engine this boat topped out just then at 18 and a half mile an hour. My Boat World Carbon Pro 365 tops out at 90 miles an hour. Again, this is per you can see perfect conditions here, just about. Same with the Carbon Pro. This is bigger, heavier. Although it doesn't feel that much heavier when handling it, I just about could uh, launch it solo. Whether I can get it up the ramp or not is uh, another thing, but we'll see. So, so I have to say, I think in terms of performance, and obviously this is only my first trip and I'm going to be spending many more trips on the water with this. But as an initial impressions, this boat handles fantastically. It really, I'm, I'm actually blown away by how well this boat actually handles. Now, like I said, there's no such thing as a perfect boat. There are a few niggles. However, this iteration of the, of the Scout is, uh, I think it's probably fair to say it's a work, work in progress to some extent. And so that they can make improvements uh, on their next iteration, uh, which I assume will be sometime uh, next year. So in terms of the good points then, well, when I seen the pictures on the website, I, I, I've got to admit, I, I felt a little bit underwhelmed. Haven't seen it in person. Actually, I really love the design. The, the photos on the website, they, they just don't quite do it justice, I don't think. Out of the box. I mean, I haven't made any modifications to this other than transom wheels and uh, a few accessories. And she handles fantastically, really, really well. And uh, I know I said that before, but I'm, I'm actually really surprised. This, uh, even with my 15 horsepower engine on, it goes really well. Now, there are a few areas that need improvement and Excel already know this, and I've given them some initial feedback ahead of making this video anyway, so that they can Get back to me with some comments. The first, uh, the first niggle I, I think I have to address, as you would have seen when I was launching the boat, the design of having in-boat oars with a palm-type grip. I'll show you them. I'll put a picture up here. Well, they might work when there's more than one person in the boat, to some extent. As you could see, they weren't too much use when I'm by myself. If there was a, a breeze, then I, I just wouldn't be able to, to paddle. However, however, that's again, some of the feedback I passed to Excel. And although they're still working between themselves in terms of figuring out what their future version will look like, and what modifications they might make, they have said that if anyone would like uh, Rolox and oars, then they are happy to supply when you buy your boat. Uh, I'm not too sure in terms of what additional fees there are, but if you would like oars and Rolox, then they will supply them. Another one of the niggles I had was, as you've seen when I got to the rougher water, I, I naturally sat on the floor. However, if I wanted to sit on the bench, even at slower speeds, then I'm really lacking something to hold on to. There are a couple of handles, there's one here and there's one here, but they're just not quite in the correct position for all types of use. And when I say that, you want to slide your bench forward and back to try and fight, find the nice equilibrium of weight distribution. So I found that I was using the bow rope. However, again, Excel have said that if you would like to add additional grab ropes along your tubes they will again supply when you buy your boat so a full disclosure then in terms of how i got this boat why i've got this boat because as you know i have a carbon pro 365 
and I love that boat, it's fantastic. It handles superbly, it's a great fishing platform, and there's no reason to change it. But uh, this is actually my third XL boat. Uh, the previous one I had an issue with, and uh, long story short, that was that was replaced, and I paid uh, some uh, additional funds to to move up to this larger boat. Of course, I had to wait a number of months for that to happen, as they were still in production at the time. But uh, this is not a review boat. It was not given to me for free. I have shelled out my own cash for the boat, uh, and all of the accessories and everything you see here as well were also paid out of my own cash. So this is a, a fair and honest review, which I think is important. Keeping an eye on those boys. If I had some oars, this is where I would just gently adjust my position. But uh, yeah, you know what? This is um, this this boat has surprised me. You know, it's it's pretty damn impressive. And I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I, as I like to go out solo a lot. I do have the Carbon Pro 365, I could still use that. This however is actually manageable for me solo. I haven't retrieved it yet, but I should be able to handle it. And I think for me personally, I would like to have the the Rolox and oars installed. I might try and figure out my own solution in terms of grab handles or whether I install my own ropes along here, I'm not too sure. Yeah, unfortunately they're still using those really bad one-way valves that seem to be on so many boats at the moment. Uh, the Boat World have them as well. Then again, I have a, a sneaky suspicion Boat World and XL are dealing with very similar suppliers or manufacturers. Because the decks are the same, the benches, all of the handles and the fittings, the transom, uh, it, it, it's it's basically a Carbo Pro. The, the two are very, very similar. Uh, I only tested the 3.6 meter Carbon Pro. I would like to test the 4 meter at some point if, uh, if I could get my hands on one. But I would also suspect it would perform very similar to this boat here. If I was to fall out of this boat, I think the only way I'm going to get back in is to go off the anti-cav plate on the engine. Because like I said, there's no, there's no, there's nothing to grab onto on the tubes to get, to get you back up. Now, if you look at their Volante and the Vanguard, they have grab ropes that run the entire way around the boat. And those grab ropes, I mean, if you're using your boat primarily for fishing, they can be somewhat of a pain in the ass. Where those grab ropes are most functional are along the side of the tubes along here. In my opinion, they lose function at the end and they lose function up at the bow especially now that we've got some proper grab handles up at the bow. So out of the water, there's plenty to hold on to in that sense. But if you are in the water, I think you need something, at least starting from here to here, where you can grab onto to get back out. And again, that would double up as something to hold on to when you're in transit too. So in my opinion, it's a no brainer to provide something. And if they were to, I think they should offer installation on that as well. I'm going to move myself away from these rocks. Now look at that. How smooth did that look, eh? It's just, throughout all stages of the throttle there, it's so smooth, the, the bow just sits up beautifully. And then it stays up as well, once you climb out the hole. Honestly, perfect, perfect. Fortunately, this is where the hard work starts, because I've got to pull this thing up, uh, up that ramp over there, so. Whew. We'll get it to the ramp, have a rest, and then go for it. Okay, so 
it's not too dissimilar to the Carbon Pro 365 in the Vanguard. Uh, once you empty the fuel tank and the anchor, and just leave any other heavy stuff at the bottom, it's uh, it's manageable. But uh, I don't know. I might be okay on another day. We had badminton yesterday and swimming, so the legs are already a bit dead, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's manageable, but not easy by any means. I think I'll probably be buying a trailer. To be honest with you, I should have just drove the car down onto the beach, it would have been fine, but... And if I wasn't doing this video to prove it can be done, then I probably would have done that. Because that was tough. Well, there she is, folks. We made it back. Just letting her drain off a little before we get her on the trailer. But crikey, she's a lump to handle. But definitely doable. And most people are probably fitter than me anyway, so. But there she is, looks pretty stunning. I'll show you the underside as well. You can see there's a difference there between the boat world. The boat world is, is ribbed. You can see this is plain PVC underneath. I'm not too sure if that changes performance at all, but... And then there you can see the position of the keel. So that was the XL Marine Scout 400. It's available in a 3.6, a 4 metre and a 4.2 metre. Uh, again, since recording all of this footage, I have since spoke to Excel. If you'd like to buy one of these, the website is due to be updated within the next couple of weeks uh, with options to be able to check out with those additional accessories if you'd like to have the Rolox, the oars and the grab handles uh, installed. That's all I know at this point. I've, I've got no further information in terms of the, uh, the additional price that those uh, those fittings will add to your basket. So again, I'm not affiliated with Excel, I'm not affiliated with Boat World, and uh, all of the opinions uh, in this video are, are my own, based on my own experience so far. If you do want to buy one of these boats, Excel have uh, offered a discount code. It's uh, a zero percent commission, there's no kickback, there's, there's nothing in it for me whatsoever, other than passing on uh, a bit of a discount to anyone watching this video. I'll link the, uh, the discount code in the description and I'll stick it up here somewhere too. If you like the video, please hit me uh, a like and a subscribe. It gives me more reason to make these videos. And uh, yeah, I look forward to making many more videos on this boat. Talk soon.